Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. It is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever though you do have any questions, if ever you would like to inquire about having your own personal reading, you may do so by contacting me. All my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated and I do thank you in advance. So with no further ado, this is going to be a beautiful, lovely reading for you. This is a channeled reading with your angels for the beautiful sign of Leo. Your angels, they have special messages that are meant for you. So I am going to deliver these messages to you at the moment. So let's just flip these little cards over. I have here the High Priestess, the uh, High, not High Priestess, I'm so sorry, the High Priest. I have a shape shifter, I have a, the heart guardian, and I also have a drum. So let's begin with a high priest. And this is all about intent and create. You need to recognize that you have the power to change your life. You need to face your fear and you need to align with the light. Now, whenever you receive this message from your angels, it can represent a spiritual figure, a leader or a teacher in your life, or an aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today. Now, you are a bridge, okay? You're a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. Now there have been some setbacks, but you need to accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and not only of yourself, but of yourself and your spirit. You must know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and your energies towards what you want to grow, what you want to heal, and what you want to expand, and then watch it happen right before your eyes. Now we're going to move on over to the uh, shape shifter message, and this is about transform and unveil your gifts. You need to take your time you need to focus on developing your gifts and your strengths right now, okay? You have been through many challenges and many lows, but now you're in a space of, uh, let's call it transformation right now. You are moving beyond your past challenges and you're owning your current strengths. There are opportunities for you to discover and to rediscover the gifts and the talents that you were born with and born to share. All of your past experiences, they have only helped you see how strong you really are. You are an amazing soul who can change and transform in ways that people least expect. You have many talents that you are going to share in your whole lifetime. You are guided to stay focused on the light, knowing that it is going to guide you forward. And when this message arrives, there's also an opportunity for you to tap into the power, tap into that power of your spirit animal. And note, if you're seeing a particular animal on a frequent basis, because it's medicine, it is coming to you. Let's move on over to your following message, which is the heart guardian. And this is a love and let yourself be loved because that last part is not always, actually the whole part is not always that easy. Um, welcome with open arms opportunities to give and to receive love. And as I was just saying, both of them are not easy tasks to do. The heart guardian here is an angelic energy. 
that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues that are surrounding the heart. Okay, this is essentially the angel who helps you with all relationships, whether they be with yourself, with your family, or even a romantic connection. She can enable you to move to beyond any limiting fears about trust, discern whom to trust and understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. Now, you are love, you're lovable and loving. And the energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time. Angels are swirling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and to reveal the blessings that you have to offer. They want you to know that you're a highly loving being who deserves to give and to receive love. And if you're finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit, credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others, to learn, to receive. Don't try and do everything on your own. If you are working on a relationship or you're in a new relationship, this is a message that ushers in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. As we could say, love is in the air. And now let's move on forward to your following message, which is your last message, which is the drum. And this is dream and journey. A journey inwards to uncover insights and information that is going to be important for your path. And then you follow the guidance. Now, when this drum message appears, there are opportunities for you to dream or to bring an inner vision into reality. You're, you are very connected to the other worlds at this time and the wisdom and intelligence of the earth and her magic surrounds you. The drum, which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat, has cleared the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and in your inner vision is not imagination, but it is guidance, particularly if it has been coming to you on a few occasions, okay, repeatedly. So, and it has the potential to become reality. Dreams come true. You need to know it and you need to live it. So if we do a little sum up here, we have um, intend and create, okay? So you need to take action, you need to move forward, you need to transform and unveil your gifts. Love and love yourself and let yourself be loved, please. And let's dream that journey and let's make it reality. So that being said, this does conclude this reading for you, my dear friends, Leo. I do hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it brought you some interesting um, interesting messages that you might be able to bring upon your path. If you do have any questions, you'd like to contact me or have a reading, romanceviltarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a beautiful and blessed day. I thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. I will see you tomorrow with new messages.